welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. Today I'm going to show you guys how to curl your hair with a curling iron. I'm going to brush my hair, make sure everything is untangled. I'm going to spray this Joico heat protectant spray. Make sure you spray it everywhere as well as the ends. Those are more important because the ends are very, very dry. And then I'm going to brush my hair again. Next, I'm using Revlon Curling Iron. It's about an inch barrel. So this is the curling iron I use specifically for my hair. I'm going to section out my hair. I'm going to take a section of my hair and part it. I usually take an inch. I'm going to take my curling iron and I'm going to place it vertically. And I'm going to put the curling iron close to the roots, but not really, and clamp it on and turn it away from the face and as you are turning it you are also pulling the barrel out all the way to the ends and I left a little bit of the ends out that way it gives more of a natural textured look and then I curl it down I'll show you again I'll take another section I'm going to Take my curling iron, clamp it on vertically, and you are turning it to your right. And you're, as you are turning it, you're bringing the barrel outwards and just keep turning it. And leave a little bit of the ends out. And if you want a very loose wave, you don't have to leave the curling iron on longer again place your curling iron vertically clamp it close to the roots pull it out as you were turning it now this is what we are supposed to be doing when you curl your hair before I went to hair school I didn't know this technique I used to start from the bottom and then curl it all the way to my roots and you're not supposed to do that reason why is because the curling iron is really really hot so if you put it on the ends first it's going to dry out your ends more because you're putting more heat on the ends this might take a while for some of you guys it is a harder technique to learn but this is the proper way of doing your hair it's a proper way of curling your hair and I usually leave it on less less than 10 seconds depending on how hot you put your temperature right now mine is just halfway it doesn't show the temperature I forgot what the temperature is but my curling iron goes from 1 to 30 and normally I put it at 15 my hair is very thick so 15 is still good to put it's better to use less heat as well just so you don't damage your hair as much for my hair I just bring it up halfway So again, take your curling iron, place it vertically close to the root, and turn it while you are pulling it outwards. I'm working on my right side right now, so you are turning it to your right away from the face. Little way. So as you can see, I left the ends out. So now I'm working on my left side and I'm going to place the barrel just a little bit close to the roots. And then when I clamp it down, I'm going to turn it to the left. So as I'm turning it, I am also pulling the barrel away. 
I'm pulling the barrel out. So I leave it on for a little bit and then take it out. Place the curling iron vertically, clamp it down, turn the barrel to the left, and as you are turning it, you are also pulling the barrel out. So again, place the barrel close to the roots, turn it to your left, and as you are turning it, you are pulling the barrel out. And leave the ends straight. always go back into it depending on how long your hair is if it's longer than mine you will have to sometimes you would have to go back into it just to get all the way to the bottom I left the ends out and it gives a little wave Now this section here, they're layered, so I'm going to have different sections of pieces that are more curlier than the other. I have a ton of hair, so I have to section them out more than other people have to. So again, I'm just going to brush my hair. Place your curling iron vertically and twist it while you are pulling the hair out. This is my last section. I'm going to part it where I want it to be parted. Again, place the curling iron vertically, twist it as you are pulling the hair out. Leave the ends out. some pieces that I would like to fix so I just go over them I'm going to grab my oil my argan oil that I showed you guys last time and rub it comb it through with your fingers 
And you can add any hairspray after if you want it to last longer. You can take the time and just play around with the waves and see how you want it to look. Some of them, they all stick together. So if you just play around with it, it will separate if you want it to show more waves. And if you think the roots are too flat, you can just go in with it and just curl the roots just to give it a little bit of a wave. Just some pieces, not everywhere. So this is my hair when it's wavy. Not everyone's hair is going to look the same because everyone has different layers, different textures, different lengths. So this is what my hair normally looks like when I do waves. If you have layers, it's going to give you more of a poofy look. If you want your roots to look heavy, you can just use your fingers and just poof it up or you can use a hairspray and you'll get more volume at the top. For me, I don't really like that. You guys should try it out. Let me know how it works out for you guys. This is for beginners as well. It's going to take time to learn how to curl it the proper way. So just practice and you'll get used to it and it'll be a lot faster for you to do. Thank you guys for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give my video a thumbs up, please subscribe to my channel, hit the notification button, and thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!